This is Chris Menard. Let me show you how to use the index and match function in Excel. If you're already doing VLOOKUP, uh, you'll love these two functions together. If you don't know how to do VLOOKUP, please find my two minute video on VLOOKUP. So you can set this up from scratch. Start Excel, type in this information, put in the word product, and I want to look up product B equals match B7 there's my range I'm looking for an exact match so the match function basically says in this range letter B is the second one down that's all it does I'm gonna end up deleting this in just one second here I go again now I want to know the month and I have January February and March I'm going to just put in January, another match function. I'm trying to look up B8 from this range, comma, I'm looking for an exact match. I should get the number one because January is the first one, and I do. Let's test these. February, letter C is working. Once again, I'm going to end up getting rid of these two functions over here in just one second. So if you know how to do a VLOOKUP, a VLOOKUP will only look up from the far left-hand column. But I want to figure out for the month of February, for product C, what is the value, which is 13. So we're going to use the match function with the index function. So this is what VLOOKUP will not do. Equals index is basically what range are you looking in comma, col row number is going to be that match function, it's the function we just did a second ago, comma, zero, close that, comma, I'm still in the index function now, now it's asking for the column, again it's the match function, It's that range again, and it's an exact match. Close it, press enter, hit yes if you get a message that says yes or no. And I have the number 13. If you look, product C, February is 13. Let's test it. Let's make it product D. It went to 14. Let's make it March. It went to the number 15, which is correct. Here are the functions again that I used. And when you're done, you can get rid of these two. And if you know how to do a data validation, which I have a video on, you can make these data validations in cell B7 and B8. And I'll do one real quick. This is going to be data. Data validation, I'm going to make it a list. My source is this range right here. Hit OK. So now when I click here, there's a data validation list. But I have two videos on data validation. Hopefully that helped with the index and match function in Excel. If you need Microsoft Office training, please contact me.